Yo, what is up? It's the King, baby. And in today's video, I want to compare the old Darcy and the new and improved Darcy. So, let's get into it. To catch up to speed, the Darcy buffs go as follows. A 20% damage buff in PvE. Personal Assistant now takes a second to deactivate once you go off target instead of doing it instantly. And finally, Flinch Recoil and Accuracy Degradation have been cut by 50%. So Darcy is becoming easier to use. And it is getting a big damage buff. So, how big is this buff? How good is it? Let's take a look. As you can see here in this clip, I am being flinched out the wazoo. And it is not fun trying to stay on target and keep my buff active. As for damage, you do 5,079 damage for a body shot and 22,199 damage for a crit shot. Overall, not very impressive. Maybe in year one, it was great because it was. But in today's game, there are several better options. So with that out of the way, let's check out the buffs. With the new buffs, you can see when I'm being shot, the flinch is much more reduced and it is honestly a very nice change. As for damage, it does 6,125 damage to the body now and 26,769 damage to the crit spot. So, a nice buff to damage indeed, but I don't think it is enough at this point to be more viable. Whisper does so much more damage and Linears are still king this season. Not a bad buff by any means, but Darcy is still, in my opinion, not worth using as of right now. Use something else. So if you liked this short little quick video comparing the new and old Darcy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this, and be sure to let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. Until next time, my friends, the king is out, baby. Peace.